Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, upgrade your Heiko 802 desoldering gun to an 809 by replacing the heating element and some other parts. To perform this conversion you're going to need a um, A1313 heating element, that's the most expensive part at about 60 bucks. And then you're going to need a um, B3756 filter pipe, a B1723 element cover, uh, an A1319. They call it a, they call it packing. It's just and a um, B1724 nut. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is take the old element cover and nut off the desoldering gun along with the tip and we'll flip it over and you know, should also take out the uh, filter pipe and we'll flip it over and take off these screws Now this cover should come off. Okay, I'll set that off to the side. The next thing you need to do is um, disconnect and unscrew the um, heating element, which is right here. Now that it's unscrewed, I want to disconnect. Yeah. The looks like the wires broke off of it. Okay. I'm just gonna slide up this uh, tubing and we'll disconnect from here. Looks like that's how it failed, it just broke off while I was unplugging solder. I'll, I'll try to fix the heating element later. Okay, now that you have all these parts, all the parts that you need to take off off the gun, we'll um, put the new parts on. The first part you want to install is the new heating element. And I don't believe it comes with screws, so you want to keep the screws from the old heating element. There's just some instructions, I guess. Hmm, looks nice. Okay, probably should be careful with this so that I don't break it. Okay, let me put the tubing over it. So. Now we'll slide it back in here. See how this goes in. Kind of, you have to route the tubing in here so that it. Not the tubing, the wire.
make sure you route both the wires underneath the heating element like this Here's a look at how the um, wires should be under the heating element. I had one over the heating element and then the case didn't fit on top. Okay, let's put the rest of these screws in. Like I said, that was the hardest part. Let's get the rest of these pieces that fell out back in. Okay. Now you get the switch back in. That's pretty easy. There we go. Put the cover back on. Here's the cover screws. Okay, now let's install the um, packing material. I just make sure there's a good uh, seal between the heating element and the uh, new filter pipe. There you go, just put that in there. Now we can install the um, element cover and the nut along with our old tip. go. It's important not to tighten this too tight otherwise you'll have a hard time getting it off. Okay now let's install the new filter pipe and then we can test the desoldering gun out. I believe the only difference between this new filter pipe and the old filter pipe is the um, seal because the new heating element, the um, there's a piece that sticks out into the um, where the filter pipe goes. That's a little longer. It's built differently. Just install it like this. There we go. It's nice. Let's test it out. 
Okay, so the desoldering gun is heated up and it does so much faster than it did before. And I've also noticed that the um uh it has like the suction seems to be better. So let's let's test it out on a um, circuit board. This is a um, single sided board. I don't want it to get clogged up again. Okay. It's working very well. And there we go. Ooh, that's hot. Boom. That was pretty nice. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. And I hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time.